This is going to be a response to abusive anti-theist question to me. What would convince me that God doesn't exist? Okay. I promise I make this video. It's it's not it's not scripted. So if I ramble on, I apologize in advance. Okay. First of all, we need before we can an, before I can answer this question, we need to break it down. Do you mean no, hold on, sorry. There's a difference between believing in theism and believing in Christianity. Two different things. Now, before I can answer the question, what would convince me that God doesn't exist, we got to start somewhere. Because this is, a not, this, is, this is not a simple, like, well, this will go, well, if you do this, God, you, you convince me that God doesn't exist. No, that's, that's not, as comp, not as easy as that way. Let's start with Christianity. What would stop me from believing that Christianity was true? You brought up two points in the comment. You ask, okay, no, sorry. You state that for many Christians, if they see that the Bible has a contradiction or contradicts with history or whatever reason, then they throw the entire Bible on and they stop being Christians. My response would be is, me personally, I don't, I don't think there's a, contradictions if you're talking about the new testament i see i i call more discrepancies per se i'm not going to go i'm not going to go into exactly what i mean by that because this is I, I mean, that's a way different topic i'm not going to go into that right now but for sake of the argument let's say there are contradictions in the bible itself would that disprove would would, would that affect my faith would that would that make me stop believing no that would simply tell me that the bible is not the word of god it will just be the inspired word of god there's a difference between the two terms that we you know what i'm saying that, that wouldn't i don't base my belief or or faith in this religion based on a book i, mean, I do believe in the book I do believe it is, I believe it to be true, but I don't base my belief on the book. That's idol worship. Okay, okay, what else? Now, in order, f and you also have pointed out creation. Would, would, hypothetically speaking, if creation, t as described in the Bible, per turn out to be false, then no. Would, if it was proven to be false, then it wouldn't really affect me at all because it's not a salvation issue. There's only one thing that would prove, that would convince me that Christianity is false, and that's this: if the bones of Jesus were found, that's it, and they were proven, and his bones were found, and they were proven without a shadow of a doubt that they were his bones. That right there will, that right there, will. will, will will convince me that Christianity is false. Right there. Because Paul said, if if Christ, if, if Jesus did not rise from the dead, then our faith is useless. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. That's it. That's all you have to do to, pr to prove to me that Christianity is false. Now, that being said, does that mean that will make me stop believing in God? No. Because like I said earlier, there's a difference between believing in Christianity and believing in theism. Two different things. But you're asking what would convince me that God as in a general theistic version of God, whether it's like a monotheistic omniscient, omni omnipresent, omnipresent living and so on, omniscient God is false. Say, sorry, I'm rambling. It's like late at night and I'm supposed to be in bed. Okay. What will convince me that God doesn't exist? That version of God, at least. Well, okay. Both of us know that we can't prove we can't prove or disprove that that version of God doesn't exist. We can only show that either He is most likely to exist or most likely not to exist. Now, okay. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be bluntly honest. 
I find more I find theist arguments more compelling than atheist arguments. That doesn't mean I'm not open. That doesn't mean I haven't been shown or seen or shown been given. That doesn't mean I can't be convinced that God doesn't exist. It just means I have not been sh I have not been convinced that God doesn't exist. I don't find the arguments compelling. Here's a couple things that would not convince me that God doesn't exist. If you disprove an afterlife. If you disprove intelligent design. If you prove without 100% with 100% doubt that evolution is true. Which, honestly, I don't have a problem with it. It can be true, I don't really care. I'm not a scientist. I'm a writer. Plain and simple. I can care less if evolution is true or not. It doesn't affect me at all when in terms of my belief. You know? The only way you're going to be able to convince me that God doesn't exist is through philosophy. That's the only way. And also, you would have to convince me that my experiences with this God were false. Now... Some some say that religious experiences as a result of the brain, or like brain, like some sort. Of, I don't know. I don't remember the exact details, or some sort of neuroscience. I don't remember. I don't find that a convincing argument because, like, that could be true and God would still exist. Or, belief in God could have been developed by fear of death, and God would still exist. You and I both know that's a genetic fallacy to say, okay, belief in, this belief has was developed because of fear of death, or whatever it is, or find some sort of comfort blanket. You and I both know that's a genetic fallacy, because, because that could be true, and God would still exist. Okay, um, what else? Sorry, I'm doing this off the top of my head, so I don't, I have not had this scripted, so please forgive me. Um... Else. Uh, another thing, what would convince me that God doesn't exist? To be honest, not a lot. You would have to. I mean, I, bet, I have been look. I have honestly been looking at the atheistic arguments against the existence of God, and uh, I don't find really. I don't find them really that compelling, to be honest. I mean, the two most promising ones, I will admit, are unbelief, the, the argument from unbelief, and the other argument from hiddenness. I would have to look more into those arguments to figure out, to find out, if they're, to come to the conclusion if they're valid or not. But like all the other ones, nah. Don't convince me. It all boils down, I will admit, it does boil down to faith. But that doesn't mean that without belief, that doesn't mean that this belief is not routed in, like, reasoning. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, based on what we know on reality, is God most likely to exist or most likely not to exist? And based on my understanding of the world, based on my worldview, and everyone has their own worldview, okay? Anyone, anyone who denies this is an idiot, no offense, I don't mean to be an asshole about this, but anyone denies that everyone doesn't have... If anyone denies they have a worldview, there's, they don't know what they're talking about. Plain and simple. Okay. Based on my understanding of the world, based on my understanding of how the world works, based on all these different factors, based on my experience, based on my... based on the soundness of what I think are very good philosophical argument for the existence of God, I've come to the conclusion that God is most likely to exist. The key word is most likely because we cannot prove or disprove with absolute 100% certainty that he does or does not exist. But based on what, we have to remember that. Alright. But I don't think that was what you were asking either. You were asking what would convince me that God doesn't exist. All you would have to do is show me 
that God is most likely to not exist. That's it. And then also, once you do that, you have to explain how belief, how how believing, how not believing in God somehow makes me a better person. Because honestly, the whole idea that belief in God is a comfort blanket is a bunch of shit. I think that's a bunch of bullshit, in my opinion. And what else? Uh, I think that's about it. If you have any more questions, if you have any questions or if you want me to clarify anything, just let me know. Okay? Take care. I'm going to bed.